I'm standing here on the deck of a research vessel, and beneath us lies a world stranger than anything we could imagine. We're about to dive into the Hadal Zone, a place with no light, temperatures near freezing, and pressure that would crush steel. But here's the thing, life thrives down there, and not the kind you'd expect. We're about to meet creatures that, by all rights, shouldn't exist. Right, so let's start with something that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi film, the barrel eye fish. Um, you might think uh, having eyes is pretty straightforward, but this fish has decided to do things differently. Its eyes actually rotate inside a see-through skull. And then there's the anglerfish. The female glows, which is weird enough, but it gets stranger. When a male finds her, he doesn't just mate and swim off. No, he attaches himself to her and becomes part of her bloodstream. It's, uh, it's a horror story in miniature happening in the pitch black depths. Now, let's talk about light in a place where there shouldn't be any. The deep sea dragonfish is, well, it's basically the stealth bomber of the ocean. It's got fangs that reflect no light. They're practically invisible. And here's the really clever bit. It, it makes its own light, but in a red wavelength that most other sea creatures can't see. But if you want to see bioluminescence on a grand scale, you need to look at siphonophores. These aren't just single animals, they're colonies. Thousands of tiny organisms all working together, some to move, some to feed, some to sting. And they can grow to be longer than a city bus, all twinkling and glowing in the darkness. Let's move on to some creatures that have taken adaptation to the extreme. Take the gulper eel, for instance. This isn't just a fish, it's basically a living trap. It's got a jaw that can inflate to be bigger than its entire body, allowing it to swallow prey the size of footballs. The rest of it is just, well, it's just a tail, really. And then there's the Dumbo octopus. You know, it's smaller than a loaf of bread, but it moves with more grace than any dancer. The interesting thing is it doesn't need to escape or use ink like other octopuses. In the crushing depths where it lives, it simply floats, using ear-like fins to propel itself gently through the water. Now you might think that with all this weird evolution going on, everything down there must be new and strange, but that's not always the case. Take the frilled shark, for example. This thing is over six feet long, and it's basically been unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs. It's like, um, it's like evolution's unedited draft, still swimming around with 25 rows of backwards-facing teeth. On the other hand, we have creatures that seem to have evolved beyond what we thought was possible. The hydrothermal vent worms are a perfect example. These things don't eat in any way we'd recognize. They farm volcanic gas, converting it into food with the help of bacteria living inside them. They're over a meter long, yet they have no mouth and no gut. As we surface from our deep sea journey, we're left with more questions than answers. The glass squid, for instance, is practically invisible with organs you can see right through. It doesn't need ink or speed. Its defense is perfect transparency. And for every creature we've discovered, there are likely dozens more yet to be found. The deep sea remains Earth's last true frontier, a place where the bizarre is normal and the impossible becomes reality. These creatures evolved in silence under immense pressure in perpetual darkness, and yet they've developed some of the most extraordinary adaptations we've ever seen. It makes you wonder what else is waiting to be discovered in the depths below. The ocean is vast and we've only scratched the surface. Who knows what other impossible creatures might be lurking in the abyss, waiting for us to shine a light on them.